Okay, I'm a fan of really decoding a question when it's a word sum. I know that words freak us out when we're doing math because we don't really associate words in math and we, we find them a bit, um, like they're a bit of a sideswipe. But I think um, it's really important to get used to that and also appreciate the coolness factor that this is like actually solving problems. So I call this mathematical modeling because it's taking a real life situation and it's modeling it with maths. You get the solution in maths and you can bring it out into the real world. Okay, so this might feel a bit contrived, but um, at the end of the day, I think there is something quite cool about solving a real problem. So I haven't put the first question down deliberately. Um, it's the way I operate with geometry and some trick questions as well, where you just look at the information and you don't go and like overthink because overthinking is also a thing. Okay, so let's look at it. I'm going to annotate an auditorium. Okay, that's a hall or like a theater. Okay, has 30 rows of seats. I'm getting a number and I'm wondering what is a row? Is a row like the number of tomes? Is it the tome itself? Does it go something, something, 30, something, something? Okay, I don't know, don't know. But the question starts, right? Okay, there are 20 seats in the first row. 20 seats in the first row. First row has 20. So the first thing in the sequence is 20. First row is 20. So I'm going to write here, okay, so row 1 equals 20. Do you see, I'm basically saying T1 is 20. Okay, so let me just, let me just do that so that I don't get myself totally confused. Let's say T1 is 20, okay, and there's 130 seats in the last row. Ooh, last, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking of that formula that's got A plus L in it because it's last row. So this thing ends and it's 136 in the last row. What's the last row? Auditorium has 30 rows. Ha! The last row is the 30th row and there's 136. Okay, so T30 equals 136. Okay, now I do need to go back and reread to make sure I've clarified and this is correct, but this is what I'm going for now. The number of seats in the first row, second row, etc. forms an arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic. Right. So that means I'm allowed to assume that there is a common difference, which means I can then use the TN formula for arithmetic. I can use the SN formula. Okay, so there's a whole lot of things I can now do because they tell me it's arithmetic. It could have been geometric, just saying. Um, I mean, it can't with these numbers, but I needed this last piece of information to be able to do it all. So let's go back and check. 30 rows. I said row was like the N. So basically said rows is N. Let me write that down. Rows is N. Just now they asked me a question for number of rows or something, then I need to know I'm looking for N. Okay, and the number of seats, 20 seats in the first row. Okay, so seats will be your TN. Okay, so in the row 30, there are 136 seats. So that's the actual value. Okay, so this is the position and this is the value. So let me just jot that down as well. That's the position and this is the value. Okay, now we can look at the question that comes along with this. Determine the number of seats in the second row. Second, two. I find like sometimes... We really need to just put numbers when they use words like first and second because our brains are not computing necessarily that word as a number. So it's sometimes good to write it above. So they're saying the number of seats. So I want the TN. I want the TN because I said seats is TN. And they're saying second row. So they're telling me it's T2. They're giving me the N. I want the TN. I've got the N. And you know, so many times these questions cause problems because we don't know whether I'm doing SN or TN, especially like when you've done it all and you're like now doing exam practice and, and all the questions are just like thrown in one big basket and you're kind of going, well, it was really easy when I did the exercises and now everything's combined. So what am I doing? I, I, am I counting the whole total? Am I looking at the number of things? Okay, wait, look, number of seats, number of seats in the second row. So I want the TN, I've got the N, I don't 
know a whole lot more. Oh wait, I've got T1 is 20, I've got T30 is 136. Do you see how this can't ask me for SN at the moment? Because they want the number of seats, they want the TN, and they tell me it's T2. So I'm clearly using the TN formula here. I'm just going to bring in another whiteboard here so I don't have to erase anything. And I'm going to just repeat the information that I've got. Okay, so I've got T1 equals 20. Please remember that that means that A equals 20. Okay, then I've got T30 is 136. I know that this is arithmetic, okay, and what I want, let's just go back, I want the number of seats in the second row, I want T2. Okay, so this probably won't surprise you, but you obviously need to get um, the formula first, right? Okay. okay, I've got A, so this doesn't need anything more than just getting me A. So Tn is 20, okay, plus N minus 1D, that's great. I don't have the D. Hmm. I've got T30. I've got this as an N when this is the TN. Okay, cool. So I can now say, okay, that's my, my N is 30. So when N is 30, I can put it like that. When N is 30, then TN is 136. Okay, right. So now we're just doing a little bit of algebra here. So 136 is going to be... 20 plus, what's 30 minus um, 1 is 29, so it's 29D. Okay, I can now get D. So I'm going to pop the 20 on that side and subtract, so I'm going to get 116 is 29D. Um, can D be a fraction just before I go and do this? It really can. Um, remember that it's N that can't be a fraction, but you can definitely add on like, you know, 1.4 every time along an arithmetic sequence if that's the case. Um, but don't worry, it doesn't do that. So I'm going to divide both sides by 29. And I'm going to get 4. Okay, you can obviously pause the video as I go and do this with me. That might be a good idea. And then just pause. Um, and you know why I would recommend that is because sometimes watching someone do stuff makes you... You like empathize so much that you think you're doing that you're doing it and you're not. So I would really recommend you have your calculator out, you do the pausing as we go, and you do it yourself and even write it down yourself because um yeah, watching and doing are not the same thing. I'm sure your teachers have said that to you a thousand times. Okay, so I've got D equals four. And then I always have these moments of like, okay, what was I doing? What is the question? Was I supposed to get D? Uh yes, but no. As in, yes, I'm supposed to get it, but no, it doesn't answer the question. Determine the number of seats in the second row. Right. So that means I need to find T2. Cool. So then T2, I've got D. So I've got the whole formula. Okay. So T2, um, T2 is going to be 20 plus N minus 1, which is 2 minus 1, so 1 times the difference. So 24. Okay, question has been answered. And now underneath there is I've just put T2 is 24 and I've put D is 4 because um, I'm going to attempt the next question now and I just want to remember that sometimes these things scaffold and that means that I could well be using my previous answer in my next one. Okay, so the next question is to determine the total number of seats in the auditorium. Total number what are you hearing by that? Should be that it's a sum. Okay, so I want the total number of seats in the auditorium. So I'm looking for the sum to how many rows was it again? Let's go back to the question. An auditorium has 30 rows of seats. So I think this is relatively clear, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find S30, right? Okay, so I'm going to go with that. I need S, the sum to 30. All right. So um, I've got D, I've got N, because N is 30. So my sum to 30 terms is going to be um, the N over 2, my, my um, formula. So I'm going to have 30 over 2. And then it's going to be 2 times A. What was A again? 20, right? Plus 30 minus 1, because it's N minus 1, is 29. I quite like to do that. Um, and then my D was 4. Okay, plug and play into calculator. All right, and you're going to get 2, 3, 4, 0, 
will be the total number of seats in the auditorium. Last comment about this question, could they have made it harder? Yep, they could have just asked the second question. They could have just said, how many seats are there in the auditorium? And then you would have had to know to first get TN and then get SN. Okay, so a lot of questions do require you to do both, um, but you do need to kind of sift it through in your mind and get a lot of practice with these so that they don't freak you out and you know at least where to start.